nice effort from him. Getting the start, uh, pretty much the same starting lineups la as yesterday. Uh, the only going and getting a couple uh, t opportunities at it. Can't finish. Jalen Bland, three is better than two. We talked about last night with head coach Logan Stutz putting it together. Jeremy Harris in the corner of five, four, three. Andre Johnson, who finished with 15 points, five of eight shooting, and there's a shot. A very, very similar situation to say, nice pass there, threading the needles, Jalen Bland to J.D. Miller. But work on two things, hopefully you do those two things very well. In last night's game, uh, didn't go the way of the Pharaohs, and Jeremy Harris right in hand in his face, and he picks it up. Cuts into the key, goes around Hannibal, misses the layup, the follow from Haynes. Nice. They want to see more scoring from their foul, for actually from the forward connection. They got that last night in the opening win. Jalen Plan for three, put some spice on it. Latest drop. Dion Rice with the ball, he's going to pull up. Dion Rice hits the shot. A lot of shots. They ended up shooting 59 threes, which is a unbelievable amount of three-point shots. Only hit seven of them. There. Yeah, so shot 11% from the three. Andre Johnson the steal on A.J. Mosby, and an easy lay-in there to make it a one-point game. Dutz is going to make a couple of changes to the lineup that's on the floor. J.D. Miller puts up a long three. Nothing but net, J.D. Gets it to Brundage. Fake screen. Brundage using the body, getting into the lane. Nice finish there by Brundage. The Pharaohs, Armand Benford, who had a pretty nice game off of the bench for this team. 13 points, and there's a shot good. 14 points off the bench. Whoops. Arun Muhammad, a third straight turnover for the Sudbury Five. And right to the bucket there is over a turnover, has killed the five of the past. Arun Muhammad gets it to Dexter Williams Jr. to Ron Scott. The offensive rebound and put back. Nice. Inside, it's Gupton once again. And another bucket from Kyle Gupton. Sudbury 5 out and running. Cross court pass. Jeremy Harris steps into the three. No good. Jerron Scott going right back up and finishing a couple offensive rebounds and second chance. A turnover. Dexter Williams Jr., the Euro step going in. Yes. The friendly roll, Fooley Dex. On Rice will bring it up. Gupton left open, and Gupton capitalizes again. What's going on physically? Julius Palmer, a nice little bounce pass inside there from Benford. The stutter step goes into Dexter Williams Jr., draws contact, no call. Reset shot clock and Jalen Bland, second chance opportunity. Shot clock, J.D. Miller, defense all over him, four on the shot clock. Jeremy Harris going in, and a turnover for the Sudbury Five up ahead. And a throw down there from Brandon Suttles. Three-point lead for the they need. We mentioned that they turned the ball over 11 times in last night's game. There's four or more turnovers that we can point out already in that first quarter. So that is something that they really have to improve on and limit those consecutive turnovers. As a nice take there, Andre Johnson looking inside for Julius Palmer. Nice read by A.J. Mosby. And there you go. Jeremy Harris skying for two. You no know good. that words were said. Oh, yeah. Couple words. <laughs> Mosby for three. It's good, A.J. Mosby. J.D. Miller ahead. Jalen Bland's going to cut right to the hoop. Looking for the foul, but will get the two. He's got a dozen. You know, sports always finds its way to even itself out, and... You know, a guy can average 23 points. You know he's not going to stay down at 14 for too long. Be relying on the threes all game long. Well, you know, in last night's game, it did work out for the Sudbury Five just because of the competition they're facing. Jalen Bland hits a three. Why, you, you know, you see in the NBA, there'll be some outrageous numbers of three-point shots, but typically in the 20 to 30 shot range is where you'll be. But shooting 58 
three-point shots is crazy. No, you don't want to have to rely on that because we've seen that too often last season. Jeremy Harris cuts into the key, puts up the shot, no good. We'll call that a pass. The big guy, Jason Hannibal. No, the starters have been out there for a lot of this uh, first quarter in a bit here in Greater Sudbury. Dion Rice puts up a three. The fake pass up top has Yerby on him. Dexter Williams Jr. J.D. Miller, nice little play. That's exactly what you were talking about right there. Hey, these guys are pros too. They're giving the five everything that they can handle. And just like we talked, a beautiful and one there. Jalen Bland getting into the key, creating the contact and finishing. Beautiful. Jalen Bland. Yeah, took the hit after going up. Take a look at this and took that bump, went down heavy. Come out there, kind of almost running, you know, five in, five out players with this Pharaohs team. Shot good. JD Miller. You know, good basketball and definitely a great football program. Average 10.8 points a game as a senior with TCU. Shot good there. There's Gupton back at it, right? Like the South Carolina Gamecocks. Teams that just, you know, don't go with the Huskies or, you know, the Cardinals or things like that. Eagles. There are a lot of Eagles out there. So the unique names are always really, really cool. The Razorbacks, that's one of my favorites. Must be um, akin to what's happening in and around that specific area. So, yeah. uh, horned Sounds frogs are. Odd. Who stands tall on defense. J.D. Miller, the floater good. To come in and fulfill a, a valuable role for this Supri 5 team. Cutting to the basket and a nice finish there from Armand Benford down the stretch. And if you can take a season series from a team like the Windsor Express, heading into the playoffs, that's a big measuring stick. Julius Palmer makes a couple nice moves there. Good footwork from Julius Palmer. Big uh, difference in his play from last night to this afternoon. And that's why the Pharaohs are leading right now by three here late in the second. Jeremy Harris and one right to the cup. Don't reach, he'll teach. And we talked about Windsor last night, Nick, where, you know, they they struggled. They didn't have the best of seasons. You know they're going to improve. Yeah. His expectations were through the roof today and getting a better performance from some players. And it's uh, proving to uh, come to fruition. In against Yearby is going to fade away, looking for the foul, nothing. And... Yearby is going to come right inside, go to Brundage, easy layup, and the coaching staff of the Sudbury Five not happy with that. Brundage, of course, led the team last night, 24 points, and a couple of baskets so far, continues to lead the team again today. A.J. Mosby, Jason Hannibal inside, left hand, Jason Hannibal. From the big guy, number 55. Good. Hannibal nearly picked up the foul on that one, reaching in, but Sudbury 5 come away with it. Jalen Bland, 4-3, a 5-4-3, little spice. Long shot from the free throw, comes a, a big rebound. Now Jeremy Harris goes right at Julius Palmer, Jeremy Harris. Well, when you throw up bricks and uh, you know what, the team is able to capitalize and take it back down court for a one point lead, that's a good sign. There's Brundage with the three. As we mentioned, he was 0 for 10. First touch on that three. Shot good. Brundage, two for two in the last two shots. Well, showing a nice touch today. Double teamed. Goes behind the back. Jalen Bland out to Dexter Williams Jr. One more pass to J.D. Miller. Great ball. Take a look at this. Play by behind the back, Jalen Bland, ball movement all the way around, and J.D. Miller. Shot no good. J.D. Miller comes away with the rebound just over the outstretched hands of Haynes. Dexter Williams Jr. to the cup, to the rock, and the two. Pass from Jeremy Harris. Mosby finding Harris, looking inside for J.D. Miller. Harris 
around Dion Rice, right to the cup, gets his own rebound, puts it back up and in. Six on the shot clock. Andre Johnson with Bland all over him is able to squeak through, get the wow. runner to fall. Ball for the Pharaohs. Suttles goes in and one. Haynes the bucket and the foul giving the Pharaohs the lead back. As left on the shot clock, Jalen Bland, a double team, gets it to Mosby Jr. And the lay in good. A broken play works out for the five. It's Benford uncontested all the way. Now Benford for the Pharaohs. Suttles fakes the screen. Dion Rice into Montel McRae into the trees and good. Nice drive there. Pharaohs up by three. Mosby Jr. answers right back. Back and forth, back and forth. Which team is going to take the reins? Down another rebound. Montel McRae will tee up a three. No good. Goes after his own rebound. Is able to knock it to A.J. Mosby Jr. Wow, strange play. Lo oh, and behold, the five. Take a look at that. Here's the shot now from Mosby. All because of Montel's hustle on that play. He does most of the time. You got to follow up those rebounds because those type of things will happen. Montel McRae knocks it. A.J. Mosby Jr., but just like that, the answer back the other way. This is, as we've said countless times last year, could be a last shot victory. Nice Jeremy steal. Harris on the runway. Jeremy Harris, the throwdown. Didn't we see a play in the NBA this past week where someone missed that? It happens. It happens. Not often, but it happens. Another turnover for the Pharaohs. Out on the runway, Montel McRae. The lay-in and the Sudbury Five have taken the reins a little bit. For the Sudbury Five, Brundage with the ball. Goes inside Julius Palmer, the up fake. Nice little step around and... Largest lead of the game, Sudbury by nine. The Oakland County Pharaohs by seven. But it has been back and forth. Dwayne Notice for three. 18 times. Back and forth for sure. It has been tied nine times. Uh, bench points is a nice three there from the corner. Again, Dwayne Notice back to back. Well, Dexter come for Mr. Notice. That is now up to a seven point lead for the Sudbury Five. Dexter Williams Jr. One more from Dwayne Notice. Make it three. Make it rain. Dwayne Notice. Wow. And the fans respond. Dwayne Notice. Three consecutive three pointers. And how about the play there from Jalen Bland? Down by eight. Keep it within striking distance, but Jalen Bland. One of the three and one from Dexter Williams Jr. J.D. Miller just rattles. Behind the back, Yearby up ahead to Brundage and he'll finish that one off. Yeah. Had the bench off their feet on that one. Did not fall. Brundage around his man. Stutter steps and gets that to fall. Timeout, Sudbury 5. Timeout. A.J. Mosby Jr. now to Dexter Williams Jr. A.J. Mosby comes around and the set play off the uh, inbounds and what a play there by Jalen Bland. And Jeremy Harris now back out on the court for the Sudbury Five, so getting him back involved. J.D. Miller for three. That's huge. An impressive 13 point performance last night. Up to 17 in this game so far. There's a shot from Dion Rice, the answer with the three. Wow, the Pharaohs aren't backing down at all, Nick, whatsoever. It's a 10-point lead for the five. 13 points from Dion Rice. Carlton Brundage leading the way for the Pharaohs with 25. After putting up 24 the last game, Jeremy Herring through, looking for contact. Andre Johnson, the drop-off pass. Oh, what a Julius pass. Palmer, no look. Andre Johnson. That was that was sweet. Not fall. Dexter Williams Jr. waiting for Jalen Bland. 
Inside J.D. Miller and one J.D. Miller. Seven. A.J. Mosby in the right place. Help side defense there picking off the pass. Jeremy Harris into the corner. Jalen Bland a 5-4-3. Lighting it up in this game. Jalen Bland. Bland right now doing his part to guide the Sudbury Five to victory. There's a shot from Gupton. And leading the way with 30 tonight or this afternoon. Shot good. Gupton right off the quick turnaround. Well, he's turned around his game. Jeremy Harris using the size too small. It's on him. Rundage. Stuck. Gupton will put up the three and Gupton again. Well, Scott, you he's one of them. Yeah, Gupton is shooting the lights out. A.J. Mosby, the floater. You get in the key and you're banging with a guy who's six foot seven and he's throwing an elbow right into your kidneys. It doesn't feel good. Dexter Williams Jr., the blow by. 29 points from Carlton Brundage. 123, 117 for the Sudbury Five, under 10 on the shot clock. Jeremy Harris will take the shot oh. and smooth. Jeremy Harris. 125, 119 for the Sudbury Five. Uh, a big win, two straight for the five. Wasn't glamorous, nope. but they did what they had to do.